dismal economy that's slowly on the mend and a city on the brink of a financial crisis, downtown Detroit is on the verge of being revitalized. In tonight's Detroit 2020 report, Carolyn Clifford visits the historic David Whitney building that's being transformed into a modern day hotel unlike any other in Michigan. In fact, it's so unique, it has a name and description that fits only 50 of its kind in the world. How about that? And Carolyn joins us now with the story. How about that? Pretty amazing, right, Joanne and Diana? It's called an Aloft Hotel or Boutique Hotel. And while it's smaller than most large, ups, large upscale five-star hotels, this one will offer Detroiters and people who visit the city an affordable place to stay, to live, to shop, or simply to have a lot of fun. You can say a lot of things about downtown Detroit, both good and bad. But the one thing that cannot be erased with time is the marvelous architecture that has withstood the test of time. And the David Whitney Building that was erected in 1915 is no exception. The David Whitney Building probably ranks up there, perhaps with no other building other than downtown Hudson's, which of course is gone now, as a building that really has a strong tie to people in Detroit. A rich history people remember fondly because most recall visiting their doctor or dentist in this very building. These were uh, the kind of buildings that were designed to kind of elevate the common man. Its doors have been closed since 2000, yet both the exterior and the interior are still spectacular. These types of finishes, this structure of building, uh, just unbelievable, almost impossible to replicate. Take a look at these tiny brass elevator doors, still intact nearly 100 years later. The closest thing you can liken this to is a European elevator now because uh, of its scale. When you get inside the cab, it will have a... I mean, when you think about it, I mean, look at this. <laughs> very accustomed, <laughs> we've grown very accustomed to wider openings. Yeah. Two years from now, this building will be completely renovated thanks to an $80 million investment. This will survive as well. Anything of, of a historic nature, we will reincorporate in the new plan. It will reopen in 2014 as Michigan's first Aloft Hotel that some refer to as a boutique hotel. So what's that? Well, we met with the developers to find out. A boutique hotel, is, it tends to be smaller. It tends to be, uh, some refer to as a limited service hotel. Essentially, that means unlike some of the larger hotels, this one will cater to an urban market. This floor is going to be the banquet and meeting floor. Their motto? Style at a steal. It's supposed to be more affordable and is suited to attract the next generation of travelers. The hotel will have 136 guest rooms. The second level, the mezzanine level of the building, will have a substantial amount of banquet space. We intend for that to be geared towards both the corporate uh, demand generating base as well as a social base. Located right at the corner of Woodward and Park Avenue in the heart of downtown, people will actually be able to live here. With 19 stories, Detroiters who want an urban lifestyle will be able to rent apartments at an affordable rate. Everybody assumed you had to offer people two bedrooms, 1,300 square feet, and everything they could get in the suburbs. I mean, when, when really people in a, a downtown lifestyle tend to want to be out more, and so we're, we find if the units are a little bit smaller, we can bring that price point to where people want. A loft Detroit at the David Whitney will include private access for guests to the Grand Circus Park People Mover Station and be just steps from Comerica Park, Ford Field, the Detroit Opera House, Fox Theater, Greek Town, and Campus Marshes Park. This is, without a doubt, uh, Daniel Burnham's greatest building in Detroit, perhaps one of his greatest buildings ever. And, uh, and to be able to, to fill it with life again is really uh, a very exciting prospect. I got to tell you, that is one cool building. The Aloft will also have two bars and a 24-hour fitness center. To learn more about Aloft Hotels and the David Whitney Building, just go to our website, Detroit2020.com. But I know a lot of people are going to love being in that building and living there for cheap. I mean, and you're right there. We can't beat it. You're right, right there with everything yes. around you. Yeah. Wow, thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. nice look. Thank you.